It's time for reinforcements. And gentlemen, you may simply know me as Logamus Prime. Welcome back to y'all's truly doing a reaction thing to Blue Exorcist. Today's episode 2 titled Guiana Gate. And wow, it's making me think of where the show could be going from this direction. Now, I am not the crazy supernatural fan. I'm talking about the TV show. And it reminds me of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, those type of supernatural shows. And I wonder if Blue Exorcist would go in that route where, you know, they have to go and, and stop. Like a, a portal of demons coming in, exercising demons out of people. Those kind of like, I don't want to call them like almost filler episodes, but like the monster of the week kind of episodes. Until we can actually get to the big bad storyline of Ren being the son of Satan and maybe eventually meeting Satan himself. Now, I, I got a few questions ever since the last episode, but like, who is the father? Like the actual pastor father? Like, how did he get Rin? How did he know about Rin's supernaturalness? What about the other brother? Like, how are they both related? And does that mean that the other brother also have, you know, powers like Rin does? Is he also the son of Satan? Or are they just, like, adopted brothers? Sorry, I got some good questions. Um, definitely going all in with Blue Exorcist. I can't wait to dive in, check it out, no more. So, alright guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch the episode, I'm going to dissect it, I'm going to commentate, I'm going to react to it, and then by the end of the episode, I give an overall opinion of what I just watched and where I think the show's going to go. So, without further ado, this is episode two. Let's dive in. Oh, so he's always known that he never really felt normal. Oh my god, can you imagine just being discarded like that? Reminds me of Naruto! <laughs> Are we gonna get like fast forward like years later? And he's like an expert exorcist? I don't even, I wouldn't even mind if this show does that. Oh, this is still taking place after the last episode ended. Oh my god. Dude, where's your hops? You almost died there. Oh! What the fuck are those? They're like dead dogs. Whoa. Oh, okay. A holy water bomb? Why? What do they want with him? Is this like some sort of prize for him? Like, hey, we get him and give him back to Satan, they get something? I like how he also said that during night, more demons show up. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We're still going to follow the kid that got possessed? You would think he was one and done with. What if he gets possessed again? Okay, my guy. What the shit? He's still possessed? Oh. Wait, I wonder if his friends knew about this. That is wicked. This is sick. Yo. I'll be shitting bricks. Oh, the sword's for you, buddy. But well, it's not smoking anymore. Oh. transferred your demonic powers to Oh. You can never go back to Oh. No, no good. Okay, so now they explain his brother. So only he inherited the powers? I don't know, that's hard to believe. But I have a feeling eventually the brother's gonna like metaphor some powers of his own. Did everybody know about this? That I'm not Touché. Really the devil. <laughs> everybody knew? <gasps> oh, look at the Goat McDouche. How do you walk in front of traffic like that? What the hell are you Oh my... Jesus! Yo, they broke through? This motherfucker drove a truck through the church? <laughs> Take some holy water, bitch! Yeah, but what about you, my guy? Oh my god, what if you die, my dude? Oh no. 
<laughs> That's the freaking dead dog out of deadness. What is he summoning? What the shit is that? What is this? Plants versus freaking zombies? No, oh, he got a shotty. Yeah, you don't want to be up there. So he tried to give you a normal life. <laughs> My guy, don't. Don't go back to the church. They're their little acapado. It's okay to be thinking about them. Oh, don't. Why are you trying to freaking punch him? Oh, you just got mushroom. Oh, I think he. Is he okay or what? Whoa. My guy. Yo, this is not my final form, final form? Oh. <laughs> He got out! You're not listening to him! Oh, you're supposed to stay hidden! Shoot him! Whoa! Did he officially get exercise? <laughs> they all got beat up. That's not what he meant at all! What? That's not what he. Okay, what is wrong? Why are you going with this? Thank you. Fucking hit him in the other side too. What the fuck's wrong with this boy? Yo, we're listen to Papa. <laughs> I'm sure that hurt. Oh. Wait. What is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Don't tell me what he's getting possessed? He got possessed? It's his little stupid gut boy. What? Wait, we're gonna meet the big bad right away? <laughs> you can call me Papa. Oh no! Oh! Oh, what are you doing to that body, my guy? Just like this man's body. Just like your mother. Why? Hey, don't talk about mama! Oh, what the fuck is that? Let's be off. He's trying to bring him home? <laughs> Why is he laughing? Did you just piss your pants or something? Wow. <laughs> Dude, you're the one that can only help yourself. You're gonna have to use that sword. Oh, wow, what the fuck? He had a... That boy... That boy is mine. taking him... Oh! Dude! Fought through Satan! That says a lot. Wow, we barely knew that. Oh, now you call him dad? Wait, he's falling through the gate too! He's grabbing a sword. Alright, my guy, it's time to go. You gotta go. You gotta do it. You gotta use it. Oh, he's gonna go! Oh, Highlander! Oh shit! I don't understand how demonic versus demonic will subside each other. Whoa! And the church dude said once he transform or unleashes his power, there's no going back. He stays demon form forever, dude. So he exercised them. <gasps> oh my god! But dude is so dead. He's so dead, unless you call 911. Yo, know, the musical score so far has been amazing. I don't think I mentioned in the last episode, but the music, ooh. The score, oh my god, the bro, oh no. He's gonna be like, what the fuck you do, man? <laughs> Dude, I'm so accustomed now to checking after credits. What is with animes doing this? I love it, I love when they do this. It hypes you up. Oh my god, dude, really? 
The father died? Oh, no! The first real, like, death? Oh, that just looks so... Wait, so he doesn't have the elf ears, so... <gasps> but he got the cell phone! Right! The important... I completely forgot about that! He's gonna call him now! <gasps> the purse is fucking there?! Can you not look more weird? Who the fuck is this? Not to offend, but having the son of Satan running loose in Asia puts the whole of mankind in the worst jeopardy. Uh, yeah. Therefore, we are here in the name of the Vatican to exterminate. The name of the Vatican? Hey, I thought you were gonna offer me protection. Whoa. Now then, you have to. Yo, know, this is not asylum, my guy. The first one is we kill you. The second, try to kill us. And what? Run, committing suicide. So much for getting help. <laughs> now then, you have your options. These umbrellas are freaking ice cream. He's gonna join them? Hang on, kid. You want to be an exorcist like Father Fucking <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of Satan! <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking laughing too! Working as an exorcist! <laughs> You've chosen a thorn. He's gonna help him. You just might end up Ooh, Wait, he has like sharpy little fangs too? What if he's an aiming? Almost certainly be I'm not a human or Okay. Oh, today's episode was fun. Um, man, I guess the first two episodes were like a two-parter in a way. I didn't expect a big death today. I didn't expect like the mask and the Jiraiya death so early. And now we got the direction of where the show goes from here. Pretty much Rin wants to become the exorcist to stop old Satan because Satan was wanting to kill his dad or his adopted dad. Yeah. So pretty much in today's episode, it literally followed where the last one ended. Pretty much you had all these demons trying to attack Ren. But you had Shiro uh, trying to bring him back to the uh, like the church, the monastery, whatever it is. But no matter what, there was an onslaught of demons trying to attack, trying to get Ren. Eventually, Satan himself possessed Shiro. We're like, what the fuck? The big bad himself came here. He tried to get Rin himself. He tried to create a Guiana gate, but then uh, Shiro kind of like stabbed himself in the heart to stop Satan himself. Rin then unlocked his demonic powers by using a sword that pretty much was used to uh, lock his powers away. And he was able to, I am assuming, literally exercise the gates away, exercise all the demons out of the monastery. Now he has a goal, now he has a resolve of wanting to stop the Satan himself, the demons, whatever. Now I got a lot of questions in today's episode, like the way Satan talked. He said that no matter what form he takes in the Zaya world, the, the human world, the material world, he's not able to be there for long. So why even care to be in that world when he already has a world of his own? Mind you, I would like to know what his actual true form is. I wonder if we will ever see that in the show, as well as Rin himself. Like, I wonder if we will ever see his true form. Now that also brings questions for Ren himself, how come he's able to be in the material world? You know, I guess he's half demon, half human, but how does that even justify that? What happened to his mom? Did she like die giving birth to her sons? Is that what happened? Is she still alive? I guess time will tell. We actually got a huge after credit scene where um, right before Shiro died, he gave a cell phone to Ren and he said, look, there's only one phone number in there. Um, it's a person I trust, so call him if you ever need him. He actually did call him, and we got to meet Mephisto. Mephisto, he's an exorcist himself, and Rin begged that, hey, look, train me like Shiro, train me to be an exorcist so I can stop Satan and the demons. I, I like what I'm seeing. I just don't have really an idea of what, like, the main arc is just yet. Of course, we got the bad guy, we, we saw the big death, but. How do we stop him? How do we even get there? Would that mean that, like, Rand would have to exercise Guiana itself, you know? Like, how do you do that? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think really deep into, like, what could be the end game, but no idea. Nothing is popping this yet. I mean, it's only two episodes in, and I like to be super analytical, but eh. But alright guys, that about wraps up today's episode. Make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it if you do. And as always, keep blessed. Thank you so much for watching and for well for now. Bye-bye.